morning learners, welcome to Science 8. But before we start our lesson for the day, I would like to congratulate you for accomplishing the module 1 and 2. For today, our lesson is all about potential energy and kinetic energy. Hello, I'm Teacher Leia, your science teacher. Our lesson for today is all about quarter 1, module 3. Potential Energy and Kinetic Energy What I need to know, page 1 This will give you an idea of the skills or competencies you are expected to learn in the module After going through this module, you are expected to Identify and explain the factors that affect potential and kinetic energy what I know, pages 2 to 4. This part includes an activity that aims to check what you already know about the lesson to take. So, there are 10 questions you need to answer. Direction, encircle the letter of the correct answer, meaning bibilugan ang titik ng tamang sagot. Dito malalaman kung ano ba ang inyong nalalaman sa ating magiging lesson ngayong araw. Let's proceed to the next part of the module, what's in page 5, lesson 1, potential energy and kinetic energy. But before we discuss that lesson, let's first define what is energy. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. When work is done, it is accompanied by a change in energy. When work is done by an object, it loses energy. On the other hand, when work is done on an object, the object gains energy. Okay, class, let's proceed to another part of the module, which is what's new, page 6. In this portion, the new lesson will be introduced to you in various ways, such as a story, a song, a problem opener, an activity, or a situation. So, in what's new, activity 1, energy crossword puzzle. The objective of this activity, familiarize the words that are associated to the concept of energy. So you need to do, uh, instead of putting your answer in the boxes, you put your answer before the number because there are boxes missing in the crossword puzzle. So ulitin ko, yung sagot nyo, isulat nyo na lang bago mag number. Kasi may box na missing, uh, nakulang, baka malito kayo. So, ulitin ko yung sagot ilagay bago mag-number. Halimbawa, sa number 1, the product of force and displacement is susulat yun bago mag-number 1. Okay. Figure 1, a man lifting a box. Which or who is doing work? Is it the table, the box, or the man? Yes, you are correct. The man is doing work on the box. The force he applied while lifting is doing work on the box. What is the direction of the force exerted by the man on the box? What is the direction of the motion of the box? Yes, both are directed upward. Work as discussed earlier is a way to transmit energy. When the man exerted force and lifting the box, he loses energy. Work is done on the box and the box gains energy. You have learned that force of gravity is the force exerted by the earth in all things. It is always directed downward or towards the center of the earth. When an object is raised from the earth, the force exerted in lifting the object is equal to its weight. Next part of the module is what is it? Pages 7 to 8, Lesson 1 is all about Potential Energy and Kinetic Energy. This section provides a brief discussion of the lesson. This aims to help you discover and understand new concepts and skills. So I'm going to discuss to you the Potential Energy and Kinetic Energy. There are two forms of energy, Potential Energy and Kinetic Energy. What is Potential Energy? Potential energy, it is an energy stored in an object due to its position or simply energy at rest. Mass and position greatly affect the potential energy. 
the two objects that are in the same position have potential energy. Yet, an object with a greater mass has a greater potential energy with respect to its position. An object at the same mass that is placed in different position have different potential energy contained. The object in the higher position will have a higher potential energy. The formula for potential energy is M times G times H or simply as MGH where M is mass, G is acceleration due to gravity, H is height. Please take note that G is always 9.8 meter per second squared. Let's proceed to the another form of energy, kinetic energy. The energy of moving object is called energy of motion or what we call kinetic energy. The word kinetic comes from the Greek word kinetikus which means moving. Kinetic energy quantifies the amount of work the object can, can do because of its motion. Let's take a look at this illustration. Potential energy is always connected with kinetic energy. When this child stretches his slingshot, the elastic potential energy of the rubber increases. When he releases the slingshot, the stored energy or the potential energy will be converted into moving energy or kinetic energy. have the mathematical equation for the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is equal to 1 half times mass times velocity squared. Kinetic energy depends on mass and velocity. From the equation, you can see that the kinetic energy of the object depends on its mass and velocity. more pages 9 to 12 this comprises of activities for independent practice to solidify your understanding and skills of the topic in this module there are two activities the first activity kinetic energy the objective after performing this activity you should be able to investigate that increasing or reducing the mass and or speed affects the kinetic energy of the object the situations and explanation are introduced to guide and help you answer the question that follow. As you can see in page 10, there is a table 1, effects of mass and speed to kinetic energy, and questions 1, 2, and 3. For you able to answer those questions and complete the table, you should refer to situation A and B. Use directly the formula of kinetic energy in answering the questions. The next activity under what's more in module 3 is activity 3 potential energy the objective after performing this activity should be able to investigate that increasing or reducing the mass and or height affects the potential energy of the object the situation and explanation are introduced to guide and help you answer the questions that follows other uh, is also situation A, two objects of different mass are situated at the same height. Situation B, two objects of the same mass are situated at the different height. There is also table, you need to complete table 2, effects of mass and height to potential energy in page 12 and questions 1, 2, and 3. For you able to answer those questions and complete the table, the table 2, you should refer to situation A and B. Use directly the formula of potential energy in answering those questions. Alright, let's proceed to what I have learned, page 13. This includes questions or blank sentence, paragraph to be filled in to process what you learned from the lesson. So in what I have learned, page 13, fill in the blanks with the correct answer to complete the statement. Write your answer in the module. Another part of the module, what can I do? Page 13. The section provides an activity which will help you transfer your new knowledge or skills into real life situation or concern. 
So, and what can I do? Activity 4, Potential Energy and Kinetic Energy. You need to identify whether the object in the given situation possesses potential energy or kinetic energy. Write your answer in the module before the number. Finally, class, we're now in assessment, pages 14 to 15. This is a task which aims to evaluate your level of mastery in achieving the learning competency. There are 10 multiple choice questions you need to answer, so direction, kindly encircle the letter of the correct answer. Additional activities, page 16. In this portion, another activity will be given to you to enrich your knowledge or skills of the lesson learned. This also tends retention of the learned concepts. In additional activities, page 16, activity 5, more about potential energy and kinetic energy. Given the pictures below, answer the corresponding questions that follows. So as you can see, there are two pictures and a two situation you need to analyze. You write your answer in the space in the module and there is a rubric for scoring. So you, you will be having two points. If the discussion is complete with no misconception, one point. Discussion is incomplete with minor misconception and no points with no discussion. So you need to do classes to analyze and answer the given questions.